hey, have I got a story for you? So yesterday I went to a church, you know, I'm just wanting to go in there and, you know, find my, find my people, a place where I can go when I'm not ministering and uh, just be a part of the family. I went to this church that had been announced on Facebook. It was, you know, pretty decent at first, etc. Well, after a few minutes of worship, the pastor gets up to the front and he starts to preach on tithing. Now, I, I expect most pastors to do that, right? Because you've got to pay the bills. I understand that. I run a ministry. Uh, Alasia and I, we work very hard at, you know, making things flow here. We're planning some awesome things. You know, we're really, you, you have no idea how hard we're working right now. We're on, on every side of everything that uh, has our name on it. We're working hard. So I get that these pastors need to pay the bills. They need uh, to be able to live because they give themselves over to, you know, doing their ministry full time. So he starts preaching on uh, tithing, but it goes from preaching about tithing to basically tearing into the congregation. And I mean, like an aggressive manner, you know, when you, if you don't tithe, you're a robber. And if you're a robber, you're just going to, you're going to, what would you do to my ministry? And you can't serve in my ministry and you need to pay your tithes. And if you, and, if, and you know, and it was all wrathful, you know, and it really, and to watch the response of people that their response was so like being led, um, in, in a way that's not healthy. Now, I believe in giving guys. I've been asking for the, the, you know, the 30 day challenge practically every day. I've been asking those of you who've been watched, you know, watching, um, to partner with us, but I don't believe in guilt giving and I don't believe in wrathful invitations to give. You know why we obey God and we give because we love him. The reason why I try and really strive to make good godly decisions because I love him. Does that mean I'm perfect? No, absolutely not. But your heart towards the Lord is what will cause you to obey and to give. Now, giving is a big deal. Most people have an issue with giving because their hearts are tied up to fear, insecurity, uncertainty. I get it. But, you know, I just, I wanted to share this story because I thought, you know, it is people who bring their wrathful vengeance who because you're not tithing the way they want you to, that they make giving unpleasant. They make you think that every preacher just wants money and to get rich. Listen, nobody's getting rich at Teresa Lusk Ministries, right? Like we're, the, the giving is not where we're getting rich. We're just doing kingdom business. We're having fun, you know, we're working every side that has our name on it. We're doing things right now to get ready uh, to open the doors for more things with you and for you. Uh, whether you give or not, the doors are open to people who can come in and receive ministry of different types. And we're working on that. So I want to challenge you, my friend. This is day six. You know, we've had some faithful people whose hearts have been moved to donate, to give, to partner. And they've said, you know what, I believe in what you're doing. So they've been very generous, very kind. Um, but we're looking for more. We've got to do this for another 24 days, really trusting that God's going to bring forth that um, that amount that we need to move forward. We work hard. We do it daily. Um, we, we do it just to serve the Lord, and we want to have fun with it. So I want to encourage you to join me in the giving, not because I'm, you know, beating you to uh, guilt or what have you, but because you love the Lord and you believe in what he's doing through our ministry. So would you go to our website, TeresaLusk.com, and click on Donate? You could also give through Cash App, dollar sign TLM5516. God bless.